Hello and welcome to another instalment of the Statfold Barn Railways Meet the Collection series, where we take you behind the scenes here at Statfold and explore our wonderful collection of narrow gauge locomotives. In this episode, we're going to take a closer look at one of the largest locomotives here at Statfold, Hartwell Clark Latoka No. 11, better known as Fiji. Like Izabutu featured in the previous episode, Fiji was also built to haul sugarcane for the Colonial Sugar Refining Company Limited's Latoka Mill, once the largest sugar mill in the Southern Hemisphere, on the island of Viti Levu in Fiji. Completed by Huttle Clark and Company Limited of Leeds on February 20th, 1912, as works number 972, Fiji was one of three two-foot gauge 060s ordered the previous year to shift harvested sugarcane from the fields to the mill, where it was processed into sugar. The reason for Fiji's large size was because the sugar company needed locomotives with sufficient coal and water capacity to make non-stop runs of up to 40 miles with loaded trains weighing up to 300 tonnes over its 82 mile mainline. Fiji's design was derived from a pair of 060 tanks built by Huttwell Clark for the Colonial Sugar Refining Company the previous year and a total of 18 locomotives were built for the company to Fiji's dimensions in addition to two specials with smaller cylinders. The design was later changed, with a larger boiler and 10-inch diameter cylinders, and a total of 14 of these later locomotives were built up to 1952. As built, Fiji had a variable blast pipe to allow for better combustion of different fuel types, as Fiji and its classmates were originally designed to run on coal, and they were all fitted with double-skinned cab roofs in an attempt to dissipate some of the sun's blazing heat. Fiji wasn't limited to hauling cane trains, and could also be found pulling passenger services as well. Alas, Latoka's long-distance cane trains were taken over by diesels from the 1950s onwards, and most of the steam locomotives were withdrawn and scrapped during the 1960s. Happily, Fiji survived, and, after a period out of service, was returned to steam in 1978 to haul a special train of dignitaries to mark the mill's 75th anniversary. Subsequently preserved, things took a turn for the worse in 1995, when Fiji was fitted with a diesel engine for use on the Coral Coast Railway's tourist train, which involved cutting parts of the boiler and firebox, greatly complicating the challenge of returning this fascinating locomotive to steam. But that didn't stop the team here at Statfold. Repatriated to Britain in 2011, Fiji arrived at Statfold in October 2012, and, after a thorough restoration come rebuild, which involved heavy repairs to its severely cracked frames, it returned to steam in February 2014. Since then, Fiji has been one of Statfold's most popular locomotives and has even visited the Festiniog and Welsh Highland Railways in North Wales, where it was named Fiji by His Excellency Mr Solo Mara, the Fijian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. And there's another excellent Mill locomotive here at Statfold, Hartwell Clark 040 Saddle Tank No. 19, which we'll look at in another video. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 